beautiful. All of it. God, look at this place. It's amazing. Did you did you buy all these flowers? Uh, some, but mostly people sent them. Uh, that one there is from Reese. She's so sorry she couldn't be here. Well, hello there, my handsome little angel. Did you just wake up? I think you just woke up. Hi, baby boy. Okay. You know what? Can you come see Mama for a second? Yes, you can. Thank you. Oh, I love you. I love you. Can we have a little talk? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. that you are wondering what all these people are doing here, right? Well, everybody came over to talk about how great Daddy was and how much they loved him. Well, hello there, Spikey. Oh, my goodness, are you... Are you giving Gunther to Ian? Spike wanted Ian to have a little piece of Zach today. That is so sweet. That's so sweet. But what are you gonna do? Oh, don't worry about him. Don't worry about Spike. He's all taken care of. Cold in here, isn't it? How's your leg? Don't see me limping, do you? I was wondering if you were in any pain. Yeah. The old man was something. Building an empire out of nothing. You brought me here to talk about Palmer? I was hoping we could talk about your mom. I don't know how much you know about her. Yeah, not much. <clears throat> well, she certainly was beautiful. <clears throat> her family was from Cuba. Did you know that? Yeah, she loved dancing. Salsa, she was a great dancer. Loved music, loved to sing, and she loved to laugh. Most beautiful laugh I've ever heard. I, I can't do this. She wanted to have a son. She wanted you. Why don't you go with your Aunt Binks, okay? Come on, okay. I've seen a few. I love you. still standing. So that's a start, right? All things considered, that's a hell of a start. So what about you? What, what, what happened with Liza? I mean, have the charges been dropped? Oh, honey, I don't want you to worry about any of that. Not now. Spike's like a whole new kid. Whatever you said to him, you don't have to thank me, okay? Because he's, he's my boy. I'm his dad. We're all together in this, Kendall. We're, we're family. Don't forget that, okay? I can leave if it be easier for you. I completely understand. Zach would want you here. Thank 
thank you for being here. Oh, honey, there's no place else I would be today. You can be sure. I didn't know Zach. But after talking with Kendall, I realized a lot of people didn't know him well. It appears that Zach was a man of few words. Quiet, reflective, extremely protective, not only of his own privacy, but of his family and friends as well. When I asked why he was this way, Kendall didn't hesitate. She explained that Zach was a survivor. As a young boy, he suffered terrible emotional abuse, only to be followed by overwhelming grief. Most people wouldn't have come out the other side. But Zach wasn't like most people. He staged a, well, I guess you could call it a kind of rebirth. He left his old life behind and embarked on a journey as a new man. A journey that led him to the love of his life. Kendall Hart. Now, Zach and Kendall's wasn't your typical love story. The road was rocky, and at first there were more valleys than peaks. But once they figured it out, once they settled into their family lives, Zach's rebirth was complete. He had a home, he had a family the future. You know, for a man so used to not putting down roots, Zach created an incredible life for himself. A life cut too short? Yes. But not, not a life wasted. I was just getting out of law school when I met your mother. I was very ambitious. I wanted to make a name for myself. Uh, I got lost in my work. And I lost your mother. Did it hurt? When she died, did she feel any pain? Mm -hmm. 